Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and I just wanted to make a quick video covering some of the updates in the new Logic 10.3.2 update. As most of you all know, Logic 10.3 was a massive update to the features and interface in Logic, and 10.3.2 adds some new additional features in addition to some under the hood improvements in performance and stability, as well as some enhancements for better morphing in Alchemy. So let's go over some of the noticeable updates that are not just under the hood performance updates. The first update is to drummer. They've added three new percussion drummers, uh, but you'll also notice that the drummers aren't uh, in the same place uh, on the screen anymore. One of the things you'll notice is that when you create a new drummer track, your drummers aren't down here anymore. They've basically just migrated all of the drummers over to the library. So you just click on the uh, library button up here. You can press Y to open it up, and all of your drummers uh, that you would see uh, normally are over here in the library. And I think this is more or less just because they're starting to run out of space down here. So that's one big uh, update. So they've added three uh, new drummers in addition to changing where the drummers are located. Um, they're no longer located down here, but rather in the library. Another update to drummers that when you add a loop, you can actually hover over the far right side of the clip and you'll see this plus sign. And what this does is when you click on it, it'll easily add an additional drummer loop for you. Another big update is that the pitch of audio regions can now be transposed and fine tuned from the region inspector. So you can transpose up or down by 36 semitones, which is three octaves up or down. So let's say we have a loop like this and uh, let's say that right now it's two semitones um, lower than the song I'm trying to match it to, what you can do is you can click on that clip, um, click and drag on the transpose slot right here, click and drag up, and I can add two semitones to that clip. So the, the clip has been transposed up by two half steps to match the key of my song. You can also fine tune the tuning of a clip uh, right here, and you can do this by plus or minus 50 cents. Now, if you don't know what a cent is, uh, there are 100 cents in a semitone and then 12 semitones in an octave. So let's say you have a clip that's just slightly sharp or slightly flat and slightly out of tune. You can adjust the fine tuning here and match the tuning of that clip to your song. So being able to pitch shift audio regions this easily is really a cool new feature. If you're using flex time or flex pitch, there's now an actual menu item when you right click to reset flex features for all selected regions. In the arpeggiator, you can now adjust the individual length of each step when using the pattern grid. So this is really cool. Each step can have uh, a different uh, length to it. So you can combine both long and short staccato uh, notes in your arpeggiator sequences. One thing I really hated about the Logic 10 update was that if you choose an instrument preset from the library, it often will auto assign buses with effects on them and it always starts on bus one. Well, when I'm mixing a song and working on my own uh, projects, I'd like to use the lower numbered buses first for my own effects. I don't want these to be taken over by auto assigned effects. So one of the things they added in 10.3.2 is if you go up to Logic Pro 10, Preferences, Audio, and then we're gonna go to the General tab, Within the general tab, you can now adjust the automatic bus assignment. So if I want my auto uh, auto bus assignments to be uh, to not start at bus one, what you can do is you can say, okay, I want only buses above, say, bus 24 to be used for auto assigning buses. So now when I go and uh, let, first let me clear this channel strip here and let's reselect uh, an instrument from the library. What it'll do is it'll start the buses later on rather than starting on bus one. So now buses one through 24 are still available for us to use for our own effects and only buses after bus 24 are going to be used for auto assigned effects. So I think this is a really cool addition to this update as well. In the 10.3 update, they introduced the ability to process most plugins in dual mono left and right. So this is cool because you can affect the left channel one way. So let's say I want to cut out the high end in the left channel, but I want to cut out the low end in the right channel. So that was cool because you could do that. And you could also uh, click on the configuration wheel here 
and you could set this as opposed to stereo, you could set it to mid-side. So now we can process in mid-side, so we can affect the mid-channel separately from the sides. So that's a really cool, um, that's a really cool feature in 10.3 that I honestly haven't gone over yet and would make a cool dedicated video. One of the updates to this feature is that you can now couple the left and right or mid and side channels, and all that does is essentially links the two. So if I want to um, take what I have here, the mid and side still being different, but I want to say add a 1K boost or 2K boost here, now that 2K boost will appear in both the mid and the side channel. It looks a little different because we're applying a 2K boost to a heavy, heavily filtered signal already, but it couples the two channels, so any further changes that you make after you click on that couple button will affect both channels, either mid and side or left and right. There's a few new key commands as well. Uh, one that I find really helpful is if you've got a lot of plugin windows up, what you can do is instead of just clicking each one to close them out, if you hold shift and click on one of them, it'll actually close all of them out. So that's really helpful. Another one is you can press shift forward slash to turn on your quick help tags. And these are incredibly useful if you're a new user to Logic because you can just hover over something and it'll tell you what that is. Another thing you can do is you can press command forward slash and it'll give you more information about that object that you're hovering over. So again, this is extremely useful to new users of Logic if you're just trying to figure out what everything does for the first time. There's also two new key commands that you can find in the key commands dialog. You can get to this by pressing option K. The first is called copy section between locators. So let me search for that real quick. There it is. Copy section between locators global. Um, it doesn't have automatically have a, a key command assigned to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click learn by key, uh, key position here, and I'm going to assign option command, or excuse me, control option command uh, C to this. And then the second one is remove fades. So let me just search remove fades. There it is. Again, there's no key command assigned. Um, I'm going to assign shift option command F to this. So now that we've uh, assigned those, let me go try them out. So let's try out the copy section between locators first. So what this can do is it will move an entire section of your song or copy an entire section of your song so you can paste it elsewhere um, just by setting uh, your locator range. So let's say that I want to copy everything in my song in measure three and four and paste it over here somewhere. So what I'll do is I'll use that key command that I created, which was control option command C. It'll say this command applies only to selected regions. It's actually not true. I don't know why it says that because none of these are selected, but they're going to get copied. But what it does do is it asks you if you want to include tempo changes, other global events, um, as well as um, hidden tracks. So I'm going to say don't move because I don't want to move any of my hidden tracks. I just want to move the current tracks. And then you can click over here wherever you want um, that selection to go and then press Command V to paste. And you can keep pasting this section over and over and over again. So this is really cool if you're trying to copy maybe an entire verse or an entire chorus over to another section of your song without having to chop it up and then drag it over. Next, let's try out Remove Fades. As you can see, I've got a bunch of clips here, um, and all of them have a fade at the beginning and at the end. So this is really cool if you want to remove fades, multiple fades all at once, and maybe redo your fades. So the key command I assigned for this was Shift Option Command F. And when I press that, you can see that all of our fades go away. Now, the only thing I'm really, I really was hoping for in this update was not only a remove fades function, but also uh, a key command to create a default fade more quickly. For instance, in Pro Tools, you can press Command F to create a fade and adjust the fade. And or if, if you use the uh, key focus mode, you can just press F to quickly add fades to clips, which I find. Um, more useful for editing. Unfortunately, in Logic, we don't have a quick way to add fades other than using the fade tool or the uh, key command for the fade tool. I just don't like dragging across the uh, clip with the fade tool, but hopefully one day we'll get that.
All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. That's all of the big updates in Logic 10.3.2, at least the ones that are noticeable and affect your workflow. Like I said, there are a lot of under the hood updates too that affect the overall performance and stability of Logic that I didn't specifically talk about. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and leave a comment if there's anything you'd like to see in future videos or if there's anything I missed in this update. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. And if you really feel generous, you can make a monthly contribution to the channel at patreon.com forward slash music tech help guy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.